gentlemen, an immovable parliament is more obnoxious than an immovable king. They're drunkards, tricksters, villains, whoremasters, godless, self-seeking, ambitious tricksters. You are no more capable of conducting the affairs of this nation than you are of running a brothel. You are a brothel. You are scum, sir. And a truly elected scum of that. This is no parliament. I shall put an end to your sitting. I hereby declare this parliament dissolved. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Right. the fact that the DUP, which uh, obviously uh, had, during the height of the Troubles had alliances with Ulster paramilitary, Protestant paramilitaries, may now be in the British government? Well, Sinn Féin are also in power, aren't they? They also had the Deputy First Minister called Martin McGuinness, who, was an, who admitted he was a member and a commander of the IRA. That is the price of peace. Our own Queen shook hands with Martin McGuinness. <laughs> Prince Charles shook hands with Gerry Adams a few weeks ago. That's what we call progression and peace. And I'm all for that as a veteran. And I'm, I'm willing to let the past be in the past. The problem is Sinn Féin are not willing to let the past stay in the past. They want their terrorists to walk free with letters of comfort, on the run letters and not be prosecuted. And they want the men like us veterans who served our country to be prosecuted. Why do you think under David Cameron and Theresa May no uh, uh, resolution of these issues or attempts at resolving these issues is made? Because it's appeasement at all costs. Appeasement at all costs. And they have given a devolved government to Stormont. And Stormont now make the decisions. Stormont appointed the DPP. He was appointed by Stormont. He was not appointed by the British government here on the mainland. Under the terms of the Good Friday Agreement. Under the terms of the Good Friday Agreement, many concessions were given. And I'm all for peace. And every veteran here is for peace. But, you know, that if, but if you know that you start uh, disassembling the Good Friday Agreement, paramilitaries may take up arms again. There is lo limited violence at the moment. It's not just down to veterans as to why the Good Friday Agreement is falling apart. Sinn Féin had an agenda. They had a very meticulous plan. Since the Good Friday Agreement, the two main instigators on the, on the Sinn Féin side were Gerry Adams and Martin McGuinness. Martin McGuinness died a few months ago. Gerry Adams is still alive. That means that since 1998, when that, when that agreement was signed, Two, the two tame people were in charge of that party. Sorry, you Since want then, something? Hang on, let me finish. You want to jail Jerry Adams. Since then, there have been at least six secretaries of state for Northern Ireland. There have been three different British governments and numerous ministers. Sinn Féin had a plan of action, and they have meticulously stuck to that plan. And that plan of action now has come to fruition. And that is that they want British soldiers prosecuted for doing our job. Not for murdering civilians, we didn't do that. Not for waterboarding or torturing or any other propaganda that they like coming out with. Doing our job, and that was to protect civilians. I think you'll find so many inquiries have discovered collusion. So on both sides of the communities, how are you going to uh, resolve this if both sides of the communities are going to feel this way? Quite simple. Sinn Féin have got to stop thinking that they can persecute veterans here on the British mainland and also members of the Ulster Defence Regiment who serve their communities in Northern Ireland. As you know very well, that's rapidly becoming a condition for the continuation of the terms of the Good Friday Agreement. What then? We all move on with our lives and we all move on in peace.
shadows And the perverted fear of violence Chokes the smile on every face And common sense is ringing out the bell This ain't no technological breakdown This is the road to hell. Flying away from you Oh, look how 